part three. Like men in general, I see that they have this like, and and I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've had conversations with I my will. guy friends talking about this, but it seems like they have this internalized monologue all the time based on their own competition with one another. Like men don't love each other enough. And I'm not talking about sexually. I'm not talking about being, you know, gay. I'm talking about y'all don't love each other enough as brothers, as, as. Because the spirit of competition, impotence, and ignorance can only run rampant upon, upon men that are individuals. See, when you're a, a wolf, you need your pack. Although you can stand strong alone, you understand shit gets done. Shit truly gets done when you're together. Companions, as somebody that you can have a shoulder to cry on, y'all compete way too much with each other. It's almost like... Nope. The Lord designed us to compete. The thing is, we're competing over the wrong things. We're competing over women that aren't even women. If we competed over, you know, women that followed these laws and dressed right, um, we wouldn't be doing the dumb stuff because those women don't want you to be drug dealers. They don't want you to drink and do drugs. So once we stop competing over yous and start competing over them, you know, the ones that don't wear makeup and the ones that you know, cover themselves up and, you know, those certain things that the Lord said to do. Take the errands off and, you know, certain things like that. Not worship many gods, you know, things like that. You compete based on how much money you have, how many girls you fucked, who you fucked, who you know. You're con it's like constant... It's like a constant loop of competition and it's very clear and it's sad because y'all really just need love Y'all need to be loving on each other more and, and being a brother for each other and allowing each other That would make sense if majority of men Literally actually like we're doing these things. They're not Do you women actually believe majority of men out here competing with each other if we were we would all have all these stories of sleeping with all these women and the internet wouldn't be complaining. Like all these men that complain on the internet and say they can't sleep with women, they're not in the game. What are you talking about? It's a very select few men that are doing this. To hold space to be vulnerable, y'all need to start feeling your emotions. We do. Allow yourself to cry in front of one another like that. We we, we 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 had things like that, and then the feminists smashed those organizations to dust. So now we are online, and then they smashed that to dust. And you know now we're wherever we are. That takes a lot of courage, especially in a society that tells men that they cannot feel any emotions or show any signs of emotions, because that's going to make you weak. And that is rooted in not just indoctrination from Satanism. society, but generational curses. Satanism. Rich, dark <laughs> chocolate. Interesting. Growing up, I really saw love like forefront through my parents' relationship. And I'm not trying to dodge them. I love my parents deeply. Um, and I have healed a lot of things nice. regarding my parents. And I could do a whole video talking about that. Um, so yeah, not trying to do dodge the relationship they had, but it was very conditional. It was very conditional. It was very much rooted in, I do this, so you do this. I do this, so then you do this. Like, And that's what I mean about what I've seen. Um, and that's why, as a black man, I don't get jealous of the nations. Because you've made it imaginary. Like, you are living this fucking wonderful life. And when I actually walked in your houses and seen that you have like moms and dads that actually don't love each other and they're only there like, you know, conditional. It's like the movies and all this other shit. And then I seen how they actually don't teach you anything. And the ones that do want to teach you, you hate that motherfucker and don't want to listen to him anyway. And then I started to understand 
why the Lord, um, you know, made me want to get away from my people and start to study the nations and then realize that all I have is all I need. Him. You know, the internal love thing. As long as I get this done, you should be getting this done. And that's conditional love. It's like, if you don't, if I don't pay the bills, you're not going to wash the dishes. If you don't wash the dishes, I'm not going to pay the bills. It's like, they, you know what I mean? It's conditional love. It's like, okay, if I don't wash the dishes this day, then you're not going to pay the bills. Like, what's that about? <laughs> I... I'm good off conditional love. I've learned that from just seeing my parents' relationship. And of course they had their high moments, but there was a lot of things that they could have worked on to make the relationship a better one. And their traditions of their faith uh, kept them in their place. Maybe, I don't know. All I know is um, the older generation, that's what they always tell us. It's their tra tradition. That's what I always hear when I ask motherfuckers why y'all stay together but y'all don't like each other and all this other shit. Y'all don't talk to y'all parents, but the very few parents that I did, you know, they said some things. Just conditional love is not allowing somebody to show up as they authentically are. Loving somebody... What did the Lord of the Bible say? Come as you are. Unconditionally is one of the most powerful ways... Like, that's, that's, that's what we all want. We want unconditional love. Yep. And it exists. And it takes yes, a lot of self-work. Because in order to unconditionally love another person, you have to unconditionally love yourself. Yep. And you have to, you know, fight your demons. You yep. have to work with your shadow self. Yep. You have to look at the darkest parts of yourself and the darkest parts that you went through in this life and do the work. And heal from it and understand how those dark parts are a part of you, but you also have a light side. Like you have a, we all have a dark and a light side. Everything in this life has a positive and a negative pull to it. Somebody gets it. Unconditionally loving yourself will then allow you to unconditionally love other people, which is what we all really want and desire is for somebody to love us despite our scars and yep. our wounds and our imperfections. You know why people don't? Because we're taught to look for uh, perfectness. If we were taught, you know, no man's ever perfect except the Lord, then we would accept each other, wouldn't we? Because you wouldn't look at yourself as perfect. So when you get somebody that matches up to you but isn't perfect, you'd be like, I don't care. Because what's the odds of me finding all of these things in someone else? I'll work with them. You know, we still have time in life, so, you know, I'm going to be with this person. So, how about we work on these things? I'm going to accept it for what I got, and we're going to work at it, and we're going to make it better. And I'm going to help them be a better person. See, people don't do that. We go in and say, you better be perfect fucking now, and you better never make a fucking mistake. So, yeah. Doing the work to break generational curses. Because if you don't go back and do the work, and look at, for example, your parents' relationship. Yep. Maybe you grew up in a, you know, single family home or single parent home. That can cause a lot of trauma. Yep. You know, trauma if you don't go back and understand what that might have cost you to now attract as an adult. Because I see it so often. It's crazy. If you don't break those generational curses, you're going to start to attract relationships that mirror yep. your parents' relationship. Going back to how sex is an energy exchange, I... And those are your test of God. See, once you start realizing, wait up, I keep getting the same type of spirit in the same different people. What the fuck is going on? You're supposed to wake up and be like, there's no way this is a coincidence. I know it didn't work last time. It's not going to work. And I'm not going to, I'll take nothing. If the Lord doesn't send me something or if I don't choose somebody that's not like them, then I'm going to be alone because this is bullshit. This is totally bullshit. I should not be finding the same exact type of person in different people. And that's when, you know, you go to the father and then he starts teaching you things.